Ukraine says, Hi to all civilized world and thanks for your support. We appreciate it so much. Please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell to not miss new videos on our channel and stay up to date with the latest events. Thanks buddies, let's go. So what we have today? Well friends, from the first day of summer, it seems that a cunning plan has begun regarding the liberation of Ukrainian territory and the destabilization of the situation in Russia. What is happening today in the Belgorod region undermines the rating of the Russian army even more than the defeat on the front line. They cannot even defend their own country. Active offensive actions are taking place in the Shybkin area. People are being evacuated and explosions continue in Belgorod itself. Yesterday there were reports of another explosion towards the evening. According to preliminary information, it was a drone that supposedly crashed. The Russian Volunteer Corps has shown a large number of videos of them moving peacefully along the roads of the Belgorod region. The advancements continue. Details are still scarce, but I believe that there will be a certain summary of actions in the near future. Videos are emerging of the Russian army urgently deploying equipment for defense. It is a beautiful Russian city located on our land, being targeted. And we are completely serious when we say that they attempted to launch an attack on the Belgorod region, but they failed. Well, everything worked out for them. The threats exist, and they have reached such a peak that all our discussions about retaliatory strikes are disregarded as empty gestures, and the Russians do not know what to do. Therefore, they continue to intensively shell the Kharkiv region, and do not forget to strike at the border villages of the Chernihiv and Sumy regions. However, the situation here is stable for now, and border crossings are not being recorded. Difficult battles continue in the direction of Dvorichna. The occupiers do not stop sending reinforcements, and are conducting offensive actions in Masyutivka. Meanwhile, the armed forces of Ukraine are doing everything possible to maintain defense, and the front line remains unchanged over the past day. In the Svatove direction, the occupiers have also significantly intensified in the last few days, and are conducting offensive actions in Novoselivka and Stelmakivka. The shelling along the front line also continues. In the Kremina area, the Russians attempted to break through to Kuzmin but they received a serious rebuff from the Ukrainian armed forces and now continue only with shelling without further offensive actions. In the Bakhmut direction, there are a large number of shelling and offensive actions in the Orohov, Vasilivka areas, and attacks are underway towards Bilahora. However, if you look at the geolocation map, there's a possibility that the Ukrainian armed forces were able to make some progress on the northern flank. There is a video showing how the Russians shelled the Ukrainian armored column with artillery and geolocation confirmed it was exactly here. Therefore, the front line has shifted slightly here. However, it will still take a long time to surround Bakhmut. In the Avdiivka direction, there are a large number of shelling, but no new offensive actions are being reported. In the southern direction along the front line, apart from shelling, attacks on Marienka are ongoing, but the front line here remains largely unchanged. There may be seizures of certain positions, but they change hands quite often so they are not reflected on the maps. In the Ugladar direction, for some unknown reason, the Russians have increased the number of shelling several times. They shell not only the frontline settlements, but also those located at a distance of at least 10 kilometers. Perhaps the Russians understand that there should be movement here, as time for a counteroffensive is running out. Therefore, they decided to increase the number of shelling on the Ukrainian positions to hinder any counteroffensive. In the Zaporizhia direction, the shelling continues, but there is no significant activity along the front line, as before. The situation remains unchanged in the Kherson direction, and the occupiers continue to strike not only at Kherson, but also at all the front line settlements. And here Stoltenberg made a new statement that Ukraine already has sufficient capabilities for a successful counteroffensive. Currently, NATO countries are working on a multi year support package for Kiev with significant funding said the NATO Secretary General. This will provide Ukraine with deterrence and defense in the long term, as well as help restore the security and defense sector in the transition from equipment and training doctrines of Soviet times to full compatibility with NATO. We believe this will be a great opportunity. And now the Russians already want to escape from Russia. But for some reason, to Germany. What about all those Ethiopias where Lavrov traveled? They are now friends of Russia. That's where they should seek asylum. Put a bandage on the thigh, bone down, and forward into a bright future. If you agree with me, support in the comments. There is also a very serious fire unfolding between the Wagner PMC and TikTok forces. 
Overall, friends, regarding the speeches of the Ahmad commanders, all Wagner PMC employees were perplexed to see another video belittling the achievements of Wagner PMC. The employees are deeply outraged by what is happening and ask how much longer this disrespectful treatment of loyal defenders of their homeland will continue. Wagner PMC is not a single populated area to the enemy. And yet, you attempt to reproach us. Approaching. The insult to the leader affects all of us and is taken personally. We are ready to defend our honor, dignity, and justice. We are ready to defend, as always, with weapons in hand and until the last drop of blood. Are you prepared as well? Each person performs their job to the best of their ability, and we simply perform ours better. Ours better. I'm unaware of the tasks and activities of our own as we have our own unit and our own victories. By labeling Yevgeny Viktorovich as a blogger, they have insulted us and are completely wrong. There is hope that they will soon gather and shoot each other, and we will celebrate this event. Meanwhile, Russian propaganda admits that events are not unfolding according to their script. Certain individuals on the television screen, whom I can only refer to as political adventurers, are advocating for the necessity of us resorting to nuclear weapons. People do not understand the implications of nuclear weapons. Such statements pose a very serious threat to security, undermining the achievements of Wagner PMC. Accusations made by a few individuals, as in the case of road workers, are part of a larger negative situation resulting from a deliberately orchestrated war operation. This negative history will have adverse consequences for everyone, both in the long run and overall. And yet, you attempt to find fault with us. The insult to the leader affects all of us and is perceived as a personal offense. We are prepared to defend our honor and dignity and stand up for justice. We are ready, as always, with weapons in hand and until the last drop of blood. If Ukrainians declare their goals and objectives, it does not mean that we must follow suit. Military personnel there fully understand this, and they have long made their decisions. It does not mean that they should march into battle right now and report something. With all due respect and admiration for them, we are constantly waiting in our hearts for what needs to be done, for someone to want to negotiate with us and be our partner. But no, there are probably no more illusions. It seems that no one wants that, and thank God for it. Sometimes it would be easier, so to speak, to be under fire right now in the Belgorod region, and the U.S. Secretary of State, Blinken, stated that the United States wants to ensure that Ukraine emerges victorious in the war between Russia and Ukraine. In this regard, Blinken stated that they will continue to supply weapons to Zelensky and are prepared to do so indefinitely. It feels like events are unfolding according to their script, considering how challenging it is for us. What do you think about this? Be sure to write in the comments. I'm very curious to hear your opinion. And that's all the information I have for now. You can support our channel if you want. In a description below, you can find a PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard requisites. Thank you for watching.